update sets have some limitations right what are they is generally not every development will capture an update set right almost many of them will capture generally okay but there are few concepts like schedule jobs reports home pages okay the data let's say i created one incident that incident will not capture an update set okay i created one schedule job the schedule job will not capture an update set like that few definitions will not capture an update set so if they don't capture an update set then what how can i move it sir okay you need to export that xml as a record and then import it okay that way only you can do but do you have a standard list here sir if you ask me this question what are the limitations of update set now maybe some 3 years back we have a exact list i can say schedule job don't capture dashboard don't capture report don't capture we have the standard list but nowadays what happened is the list has been changed now they are allowing it first thing second thing if something is not captured in the update set now there is a new action called add to update set okay if something is not captured if you hit this button okay it will automatically add it so you will see a button right so that that is an external option something like this force to update set add to update set include in update set something like this okay if you click this one now if something let's say one you created one thing it's not captured you just went and then see in the update set page okay you didn't find that in updates then what you can do is you can hit this option it's actually add to update set here we have different different things okay that add to update set will force to add it understanding it ma everyone yes sir yes okay so new versions are getting this option so this particular question is invalid now because the answer is almost dynamic got it everyone yes yes okay so I think it's not wake up but let me see hmm. okay now we are talking something like okay update sets will not capture everything okay let's say you created one record incident will that incident creates an update set will that incident capture an update set to move no it don't So in that case, how can I move, sir? Okay, our schedule job. Okay, I will show you one schedule job, and I will show you one incident. Both I will show you. Okay, so, so go here. Assume that this is your dev. Okay, our my standard one is a dev, and this is test. Right? How can I move the one which is not captured by the update set? So see here, I go here. Okay, so just say incident. right so incident okay so let's say your incident is this one or maybe you have multiple incidents okay two three are there so maybe one two three are there so created i'll take one maybe a filter right these two needs to be moved to test okay how can i do is maybe i'm i'm saying data it's not about test okay from multiple between instances you want to move things between instances if you have that how you do is okay export them as an xml okay so see here you don't have an option i'm just looking for an option called add to update set okay no we don't have it here right right click export xml you all seen it yes sir right i have the data here right click export xml right so now this option will bring these two records or more records into a form of xml now it is downloaded 
okay now these two are downloaded into my local computer these two this is an xml this xml contains those two incidents okay now you go to test right now preferably open that same list or any list doesn't matter but a list okay i normally you are loading the incident only now anyway you have to test it correct so open the same list okay now right click okay import xml there you exported xml now you are importing xml import xml Find the file. Right? Now, upload. That's it. Those two instances came to test, or whatever the other instance. Simple. There is no update set here. Correct? Yes, sir. But yesterday I tried to import a couple of users. So there was no option to uh, which was allowing me to import XMLs. You need to select them and then say import XML. Okay. First, okay. let's say I create a schedule job. So now don't we don't see something called schedule job concept now. That is that will come in second phase. Okay. But I'll just go here. Okay, schedule jobs. I'll just create a dummy schedule job here. Right, so see here, generally I'll create a uh, okay, schedule job, maybe a dictionary, sys underscore dictionary. Correct. Now I'm creating a schedule job here, say new, right, something, right, now test. Okay, so save it. Generally, now, if this is captured in update set, you see the trace here. This version, this update set is captured. Okay, now if you just go to your update set also, which you are marked in, okay, just to see whether the schedule job captured or not. Is that captured? Is that schedule job captured, ma? Yes. I'm in default update set. Okay, so if that is captured, means I should get here, correct? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, so it's not captured, right? Now, keep it, right? Now, very carefully see, schedule job, right? So now you go to the dictionary and then create one dictionary. Just a simple dictionary. For any table, doesn't matter. U underscore RNG. Okay. Uh, dummy table. Okay. So type is text string. Right. Hello. Right. Save it. Now, this update set, this one will capture an update set. There is no limitation here. Okay. So when it anything captures an update set, now you see the traces here like this. Okay, but the schedule job not captured in the update set. Right now you go here and then see it in update set directly instead of seeing there. So the dictionary is captured, but update set the schedule job not captured. Did you all notice it, ma? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now the question is now I created the schedule job in dev and I tested it in dev and then I also moved to test. I want to move to test to test and then move to production later. How can I move this particular schedule job? Okay, you can export it. Okay, this way you can export only this record. Okay, or you can go to the list and export the same way I showed. Okay, either way you can export like this right only one important okay you should not export the other so this is the only one right click export xml 
right? Now go to the test, right? Where is the test? Right? Go to any list, doesn't matter, but preferably the same list, okay? Because you want to check it now, it's a scheduled job. Right? So now import it here. The same thing, earlier you uploaded incidents, now you uploaded a scheduled job. Import XML, file, downloads, this one, okay? Upload. So now see the scheduled job came here. Yeah. Everyone, yes? So this is the way, if anything is not captured in update set, you will move it with XML. This XML is not the XML that you see in here. That is a update set method XML. Okay. This is different XML, export, import XML. Got it? Okay. So this is the most important part also. Okay, if anything is, this is for especially in interviews, okay, this is most, too much important interview question. They will, you should know it. They will intentionally ask you how you move an update set. Okay, how you move a scheduled job. If you say via update set means, they will say congratulations, you can leave. Direct. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Any questions, my here?